Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I got this uh, from somebody who said that uh, it just needed to be replaced. Um, it's probably 20 years old, according to the people who wanted to replace it. Um, so what the problem is, is that I have this jump here. You can hear there's a relay that starts, and you can hear there's a hum. There's a hum inside here. There could be a capacitor in there. I'm not sure. This switch here is good. I checked that. The igniter is good. I checked that for continuity and inspected it visually. Um, yeah, it just will not come on. It will come on manually. If I push that button there, you can hear the fan. And it's got this module here. I, I'm presuming this has something to do with uh, the gas valve. Not sure. And here's your, uh, this is, uh, it's like uh, inner city products. Lavergine, Texas, Tennessee. Bradford, Connecticut, Canada, something. Model number 867.778631. And so I was just wondering if you might know what the problem is with this. I've got the door switch hot wired. When these people decided they needed to have this thing replaced, well, the, the service people, when they decided they wanted wanted to replace it I told them that I was going to salvage it and they I'm pretty sure they purposely threw the front panels away so that I couldn't put it back together but anyway uh, we've got a little hum here when we turn it on not sure what that is uh, please let me know if you figure this out this this terminal here terminal block is kind of loose free, free floating here it has a W W-Y-R-G-C uh, uh, notes on, on the terminals and I'm jumping the W and the R which is probably white and red to start it um, so yeah uh, if you know what it might be please let me know um, this inducer motor does look kind of burnt and I'll have to check this separately and see if that comes on. I believe it's just standard 110. And so anyway. Okay, so I have this extra motor. Looks pretty very similar. And connections are in a different place, but probably is rated the same. And I was looking at it. I can see the sh shiny copper uh, windings in there. And then I look in here and I see these kind of like dark and burnt ones. And I ran my meter across the, uh, the two terminals here and I get like straight connection. So I'm thinking this is the problem. This was the original problem with this. Um, so I, I think that they just decided that this thing wasn't worth because it's so old. You know, they, once they touch it, you know. It could be problematic down the line. I see the logic with that. Uh, but I think this part here is probably only like a $20 or $30 part online. Um, apparently they didn't want to fix it. They wanted to charge the lady for putting a, to put a whole brand new, new one in. They'd probably charge a couple thousand dollars to put a new, thermos, uh, new furnace in just because of this motor. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna do some more tests here and see where I can come up. Okay, I put 110 volts directly to this. I have it on a on a power strip, and basically I've got it hooked in, and this motor is not doing anything. So this motor shot, and that was a problem with this 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 heater, and so they just replaced it.